Hi Sagittarius. I literally cannot get this video straight. Jeez. Sagittarius. Um, I did post a beginning episode to, you know, um, sharing my knowledge, Sag. So if you have a chance to check it out, check it out. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I figured I would do a What's Hidden reading because I haven't really, uh, I only did one this week, right? Um, so I definitely don't need to do a love reading, Sad, to tell you that. Because <laughs> I'm seeing it here for you. So first, if you're looking for personal readings, check out the link in the description. It will take you there. But here's what's happening, Sag. I feel like someone, it feels like someone's coming for you. And I'm going to be quite honest. This really feels like the person that I was seeing in um, the extended reading for the morning reading. So that might be something you want to check out. This is definitely something new. Okay. This is not a past person. So let's just, you know, take that off the table it's not a past person. It could be someone you know, but it's not a past person. It actually feels like it might be someone at work, to be honest. Like, it really does, because there's so much pentacles here. But there's so many pentacles here, it's because this is a king of pentacles. This is a good person, Sag. I will tell you that. It could be a Taurus, um, Virgo Capricorn for you. But, you know, they want to seduce you, Sagittarius. <laughs> they do. Um, they have feelings for you. So, denial and high priestess of water is here. And I kind of feel like this is you, Sag. To be honest, like, it could be them too, where they have denied their feelings for you. And, you know, specifically in terms of acting on them, I do kind of feel that. But I feel like you also deny feelings. So this feels like a mutual energy, right? Only this person doesn't want to deny them anymore. To be honest, I don't feel like they want to. I feel like they have. I feel like this person has held back. It's possible. It's very possible that you work with this person. Or that work is tied to this somehow, right? Because I feel like the way that this person flirts with you is different and it might be really like because of the way they flirt with you I mean this person wants to seduce you but not the way that you would think seduction is that's what I'm gonna say it's very different you know because they're an earth sign you know this comes from a place of like groundedness there's an earthiness to it right and I find that earth signs, I have a Taurus Lilith, by the way, tend to be of more of a sensual nature, right? And they very much value um, people who put effort in and people who put work in. And I feel like this is how this person's flirting with you. Especially if you work with them, that may have been the apprehension in letting them know that, that you want they wanted something more. And it may be... You know, for you, I feel like the apprehension is different. Okay? I do. But for them, the way that they flirt with you, Sag, is really paying attention to your work. Like, they, even if you don't work with this person, something about work is involved. They pay attention to the effort that you put into things, how hard you work, and they probably compliment you in that regard. And to them, they think that they're flirting with you. <laughs> it's funny because that's all I kept hearing. This is the way this person does it with compliments. I don't feel like they compliment everybody. I, I don't, you know, so this person really recognizes the quality of your work, how hard you work. And this could be like, because the six of wands is here, it, it would say that you know, there is attention paid to what you do because, you know, the Six of Wands is we get the attention of a lot of people through what we do. It's very possible that you are doing something publicly. You know, it could be um, 
social media influencer. That's my influencer card, but it's not everybody's. But, you know, people really pay attention to what you do because I feel like this is what this person likes about you the most. Interesting. This person sees you as someone who has that leader of the pack energy. Um, that what you do, people really pay attention to. And you affect the way that people move. And, you know, you also inspire people to take action in a positive, forward-thinking way. And this person loves it. Oh, I just felt the chill. They love that about you. And on some level, it makes them want you. So this is not a jealous person. This is not a person who would be jealous that you get attention. They love that about you. Wow. Finally. <laughs> Finally, someone who gets it. Because we don't actually, Sagittarius doesn't try to get attention. Our energy just attracts a lot of people. We have, we have the Riz, Sag. We have the Riz. And so this person acknowledges that. And they've been watching. Like, so, if all of a sudden, this person, King of Pentacles, mean they're mature, maybe a boss, all of a sudden starts complimenting your work or really noticing the things you do, um, they're flirting, Sag. They're flirting. And I don't think they come right out and say that they want you. That's the thing. I think that's the thing that confuses you, Sag. Because denial is here. It's like they don't come right out and say, oh, Saj, I want you, right? What what they do, and, and you may even feel like this person, like, why are they doing this? Why are they giving me all these compliments when there's other people who do things just as well as I do, right? Three of Pentacles. So you don't understand. Now, there's a niggling part of you that says, that kind of knows this, what, this is what they're doing. But you're not sure whether you trust that, right? With the Magician and the Three of Pentacles, you kind of feel like maybe they're just trying to get more work out of you. It, this is the strangest love reading I've ever had, FYI. <laughs> so you are definitely trying to read this person, maybe even paying a lot of attention to, do they do this with everybody? Like, are they you know, are they giving compliments to everybody? I don't really even, like, you kind of suspect that they're attracted to you or that they're trying to flirt with you, but you're not totally sure. You're not totally sure whether it's all in your head, right? The high priestess of order, I feel like... <sighs> I feel like on one point, you have feelings for this person. You you see that they could be someone to you. Um, but, you know, with the King of Wands, you kind of have a vision for your life. Right? And, and as much as you do want the Ten of Cups, who doesn't? You know, you're currently pursuing something. And so, in your mind, Sag, two of wands. You may feel you have to pick one or the other, right? Which puts you at a crossroads. But it's very interesting because I don't know that this person even comes right out and says, Sag, I want to be with you. And I feel, wow. Look at this, Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, you got three tens here. There is a lot of holding back here. And it does um, really have to do with work. It does have to do with stability. Four of Cups. Like not wanting to rock the boat. You know, not wanting to to risk money at all. But at the same time, feeling like, but what if I miss this opportunity? And I feel like you're this person. Um, I 
nine of swords they kind of struggle like this person struggles with what they should do they do um because you know there are things at stake here you know whenever you get involved with someone that is connected to your work life there can be problems you know um and i feel like for someone it could be you sad you've been really working hard to overcome some struggles in your life and so i feel like you kind of feel like i don't have time i don't have time for love i don't want to risk my money right because i you know a lot of people say that i've said that too to be honest um and i feel like there's also this energy within this person you know because they have a position which is most likely if you work with this person you know they have an important position if you don't actually directly work with this person it's kind of the same thing you know it's like not risking one's stability you know but at the same time like if i just pass this up um will i be missing something you know am i missing an opportunity here because i'm thinking about and it's a really sitting with thinking about what if things don't work out right but the nine of swords with the knight of cups I feel like this is this person, the King of Pentacles. Um, there's a fear here of, you know, sharing feelings. But they kind of know they have to. They know that they have to. I mean, if there is to be any um, possibility of a relationship, they can't be silent anymore. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Page of Swords. So they're going to say what they have wanted to say. Eight of Swords, which isn't easy for them. And they have really, really thought about it. They have really thought about it. And they want this, Saj. You know, they want this new beginning. And and it <laughs> the Tower of Justice and the Devil. Six of Swords. It's just really a ace of cups. It's like making the decision despite the fact that this could go badly or it could be the best thing ever. There's no way to know. And I feel like this person actually really puts themselves on the line to admit their feelings to you. Because it just really feels like this person... I don't know, like they have an important position or they definitely have things that they have to protect. But I feel like they're doing it. I feel like they're doing it, Saj. And you weren't, you weren't wrong. This person does have feelings for you. So where is this taking Sagittarius? Six of Swords, Five of Wands, mm. Temperance, and the Page of Wands. I feel like you're going for it, even though, like, it does feel like you might have to suffer through some talk some gossip 
some, you know, everyone putting their two cents in. You know, I feel like you're going for it with temperance and the page of wands. Two of wands again. Ace of cups. You're choosing love here. King of swords. You're choosing love. You're making the decision to give love a chance. Well, the Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you. I hope it really helps. Toodles.